Quinn at the back post. Off the crossbar and... Oh, the referee has spotted an infringement. And did it go out of play? It looked like it kind of... As it, by the time it got to Louise, that it had maybe gone out of play. I think that's the decision. It's well attacked by Dan Caldwell as well. So Players in the middle. Colin in. Not away yet. Alv Rosnan makes a save. It was almost on a plate for the Finns, but Brosnan came to the rescue. Yeah, it's a good ball in by Colin, isn't it? Into a dangerous area, and you can see Dan Cole doing her best to get something on it, but it just falls kindly. By Selstrom. But out only as far as Connolly. Campbell again. Campbell's cross. They're queued up. O'Sullivan's header. But no power in it, and Corpola able to get down to save it. Yeah, that's better. It's a better delivery for Megan Campbell. She had a few deliveries from that side that haven't quite worked out, but it's a better delivery into a dangerous area. And you can see Denise O'Sullivan just finding that space in behind Diane Caldwell and just getting a header on goal. It's unfortunate to find the bottom corner, but it's better. So, Tala expects Megan Campbell's long throw. Oh! That came off the head of Pico Yemsa, and it had to be a good save by Corpola. Yeah, that's the danger of that, that throw in, isn't it? It can go in off anyone, you can see the defenders. They don't want to leave anything there because in the back line, you can have the freedom to do that. You don't always have to be free as a defender, you can mark, and I think that gives the attacking option then out wide left for, for Megan Connolly or Megan Campbell to get forward. Connolly there. Answer! Free kick from Connolly. And a header breaks the deadlock. In the middle of that, Denise O'Sullivan. But it's credited to Lucy Ag. Yeah, it's a good delivery in again for Megan Connolly. We know how good she is in these set pieces, and it's Lily Ag, I'm sure. Delighted to find herself in such space. I don't know what the Finland defenders are doing, but we'll take it. Brilliant header. She's brave. She knows the keeper's coming there. It's a great header to get the goal. Get in front and get the get the header on goal. As I said, she found herself in acres of space. I'm not sure what Finland are doing, but we'll take it. Great free kick. 1-0 Ireland. Brilliant finish from Lily Ag. As I said, brave header going in there. No one's just going to get a clap. Diane Caldwell send it away. Out of play. The referee. The check of the watch. The clock suggests the four minutes are up, and Vera Pau has almost done it, and she has. Ireland complete the double over Finland, and history is made as the Irish women's team reaches a playoff for the World Cup 2023. What a night! What an achievement! With fans running on the pitch here, what a result! Brilliant to see the girls get into a playoff. Wasn't the prettiest match, but we've got it. We've got the win. As you say, we've beaten Finland over the two games. I'm absolutely buzzing for every one of the players in this squad, the staff. We know how important this result is. To get to a playoff is huge. We know women's football has grown so much in Ireland over the last number of years. To get to a World Cup would be unbelievable for us. Brilliant, brilliant to see us get to that playoff. And for you, Stephanie, if I may describe you as a veteran of the green shirt at this stage, and a member of the squad for so many years. What does it mean to a woman footballer? Uh, it's, it's unbelievable that he could see me here. I think I wasn't saying too much towards the end there, but every moment the ball, the ball got into the Irish defence, you're just worried about something happening. We've seen so many bad moments. We've seen the Ukraine game. A free goal from, from Anya Gorman, where Courtney Brosnan just wasn't on her toes and the ball went into the goal. We've seen so many bad moments and moments of bad luck. I think we've got some good luck throughout this qualifying campaign and to get to a playoff is huge as I said and as you say to have played the game so long in Ireland to see us get to a playoff is huge for me and I'm absolutely delighted for everybody involved.